time for all the endings. Well, I promised I'd meet War here. Should I head inside and wait already, though? I think I'm kind of early. I didn't think you would already be here. Hey, Laura. Did you finish taking care of things then? I believe so. It truly does feel strange to be back here, though. It's been a long road to return here, and yet, return we did. This building holds so many memories for us. I couldn't even begin to count. You. Sure. I'd like that. Are we still going to visit Crow's room? but there was a little part of me that expected to find Crow here waiting for us. I mean, not literally expect, but there was just a little voice in my head going, what if, while walking around. I can hardly blame you. I felt the same. Instead, he's another obstacle we have to overcome. One of many. Yeah. Still, we've been able to face every challenge that's come our way up till now. Why wouldn't our fight to bring Crow home be the same? <laughs> that's a good way to look at it. Nothing stands a chance at declaring victory over Class 7's combined might, or our two swords. Speaking of, I realize I've asked this once before, but do you like the path of the sword? Hearing that brings back memories. You really caught me off guard when you asked me that back in Keldic. Any reason it's on your mind again? <laughs> I was just curious. It feels as though after our impending battle, things will never be the same. And so before that happened, I wanted to hear your answer one more time. For all I know, that answer's changed. Ah, oh, right. Well, it hasn't. My answer's exactly the same now as it was then. Swordsmanship is like a part of me. It's always been there, and it always will be. It's not a case of liking it or not, it's just part of who I am. Both my swordsmanship and my sword are me in a way. Maybe you'll be happy to know that my feelings on the subject haven't changed either. My stance and my resolve are the same as they ever were. I stake my pride, my soul, my very being on my blade and wield it to attain ever greater heights. That is what it means to me. Why I value it above all else. Or, so I say, I'm conflicted to tell you the truth. Conflicted? About what? In both my time at the Academy and during these past few weeks of fighting alongside one another, I seem to have found something else just as precious to me. Are you suggesting... I've now discovered a new reason to fight. One that differs from the reason I fought for all this time. And that reason gives me more courage and power than I've ever felt before. Never could I have imagined there would be anything that would mean as much to me as my path of the sword. At least... Not until I met you. Laura? Green. I... I think I love you. Oh. At first, we were just friends, but... Now I see you as something far more. That's why I need to know. Do you... Uh, do you feel the same way about me too? 
you know, if I had a choice to reject war here, man, I'm all, I would already feel like a dick if I got a choice to do that. Cause she looks, she looks like she's about ready to burst in tears over rejection. <laughs> but man, that is a very... It's rare to see a... Basically defenseless war like that. <laughs> I wanted to be the one to say it first, but... It looks like you beat me to it. I always figured that as a man, it'd end up being my job. S sorry, that was presumptuous of me. I'm simply not used to these sort of things. No, don't worry. You've got nothing to apologize for. I've always admired you ever since our first day here. Your swordsmanship is so elegant, strong, and beautiful that I couldn't help but be captivated by it. And by you. You're as strong as you are reliable, but that feminine side you show from time to time is adorable too. I'm always happy to be part of our class, but having a place where the two of us can better ourselves makes me happiest of all. Truly? I love you too, Laura. Even after we graduate, I want to keep walking alongside you, following the path of the sword, and I hope that we one day reach those heights we're aiming for, but together. <laughs> I'm glad I finally got the chance to say it. Uh, uh, uh. L Laura? I had no idea it would make me this happy to hear you say you love me. <laughs> My face feels like it's on fire from blushing so much. I feel the same way, you know. We've got no way of knowing what the future holds in store for us. But we can't let a war like this stand in our path. Like you said, we have a lot of obstacles to overcome. And by overcoming ours, we'll prove we're capable of so much more. <laughs> yeah, we will. May we both wear the way of the sword proudly, and together protect our friends and our future. And give me a little kiss. Hey, don't zoom out. Give a kiss. What are you doing? <laughs> I like that, that was really cute. I like that one, but uh, Toa's is still the best because Toa gave Reen head pats. But Wars is definitely, she's always been my, my, my second, so of course that would be second best. See, hold on. What the fuck? Hold on. See, something's not right now. I'm gonna go back. What? Bro, okay, I don't know what the hell happened, but for some reason, I can't do Alfin's final bonding event. I don't know what the hell I did wrong. I pit. Damn it, that. Oh, I am one less fucking person now. Oh, are you kidding me? Why can't I do the final one with Alfin? I did all of her bonding events. I didn't reload a save after doing hers. Well, whatever. I guess I can't do it, which that's annoying. But I'm going to do Emma's now, and then it's going to wait a minute. Wait, I can't even do Eusis's, or Gaius, or even Machias! What the fuck? Oh my god, no, wait a minute. It's the same thing as this, isn't it? It's, it's because they're, they are in a level... Are you kidding me? Dude. No, wait a minute. Just because they're not at level 6 doesn't mean... <sighs> okay, hold on. They had told you that doing their final events he at Borea Hard, you get stuff here. So, why are you... Is it just because they're not at level 6? I guess it is because they need to be at level 6 near the end, and then when you get them to level 7, 
It's because it's supposed to be because of their final bonding event. So in all actuality, I'm only getting like two other endings here. That is so bullshit. I do not like the way they do that. Because, like, it should be that if you... Yeah, because that's the thing. I basically did all the guys' bonding events. Hardly really reloaded a save for any of them. Hardly. And I still don't get to see their endings. Oh, that is... Oh, my God. I... Falcom games, man. When I can't get something there, they really start annoying me. But either way, we're gonna go and do Emma's ending now. I would have also, the reason I went with just the guy, what I wanted to go with the guys is because I don't feel comfortable doing Fees because she's more of a little sister to Reen. Same with Milliam. I'm not exactly too comfortable with the teacher-student thing either. And, well, you sure as hell know I wasn't going to do Elisa until last. And I didn't pick her anyway, so let's just get in here. God, not the game. The Trails of Cold Steel games, just Falcom games in general. Trying to platinum them, you need to play through the game multiple times. And you need to do it in specific ways or you're not getting something. Oh, that is so annoying. I expected to get a good amount of endings here. Sorry for being late, Reen. I hope I didn't keep you waiting long. Oh, don't worry about it. I just got here myself. Finished everything up then? Yeah. Everything seemed to be in order over at the old schoolhouse, too. <laughs> and for once, even Celine was acting considerate. <laughs> you don't say. Being here like this really feels like old times, doesn't it? I really might not go through a third playthrough of the game for a long time, so don't, don't be expecting more extras for that for a bit. That's why I don't put finals in extras, because there's usually... There could be a very sliver small chance that I might come back. I made so many fond memories here in this building. I can't even begin to count them all. Yeah. Hey, seeing as we're already here, you want to take a little walk around inside? I'm curious what state we left things in, aren't you? Well, that sounds like fun. Back then, I never would have imagined that Crow was an Awakener, or that he was working with Misty from Aubin time of all people. Well, that makes two of us. When I think about the trial we had to pass, it's hard to believe he did something like that alone. Yeah. It really makes you wonder. I mean, we had his help when we did it, too. His determination must have been incredible to take on something like that by himself and come out the winner. And I have a feeling he'll take all of us on by himself, too. That's what it comes down to. If we want to bring him back home with us, we'll have to show him we're even more stubborn and determined than he is. <laughs> I think we can match him point for point on that as long as you are there. And as the witch responsible for guiding you in Valimar, I fully intend to see everything through to the very end. You know, I'm just going to cut in one more time. I should still be able to do Fee's final event then, if it's based on levels and not viewing their final event in Bray or you still need to view that event to see their final one. So you need level 6 and to see their final event in Bray That's really stupid. It kind of is. Thanks. I'll be depending on you.
Reen, I've been thinking lately. Somewhere along this journey we've taken together, I finally felt glad to have been born a witch. If I hadn't, I might never have enrolled at this academy. And if I'd never come here, I would never have met everyone in class seven. And I wouldn't have met you. I'm really glad you did. With all we've been through, if anyone besides you had been guiding me, I doubt we would have come as far as we have. I'm happy to know you think so. Before I came to the Academy, and even well after I'd started here, I lived to fulfill the duties expected of me as a witch. I'd been that way ever since I was little. But all that time, I had no idea of the real significance behind everything I was doing. My life as a witch was so all-encompassing, I couldn't really see anything else. Emma... It was after I started here at Thor's that things started to change. I may have come here to keep watch over the fate that awaited Valimar and the one he chose as his Awakener, but I feel so much more than that now. Instead of just watching over you, I want to stand with everyone and fight alongside you as an equal. I don't want to be someone who just watches things happen. I want to be there with Class 7, no matter what's in store. I'm happy you're with us. You've always been looking out for us, doing as much as you could and supporting us in more ways than we realized. I doubt Class 7 would be what it is now if you hadn't been a part of it. So I think I speak for everyone when I say thank you for sticking it out through all the good and the bad. <laughs> I owe you guys a lot of thanks, too. Some days, the only reason I was able to keep doing my part as Class 7's president is because everyone... Well, maybe... Not everyone... It's because you accepted me for who I was, Reen. You must have had so many questions, but you were always so patient and kind. Oh. <laughs> Emma, the only reason I feel like I can fill the shoes of an Awakener is because I have you to guide me. When I first found out what I had to do, I was confused. I didn't understand what was going on, really. But with you by my side and showing me the way, I started to feel like I might be able to really do it after all. Is that so? Emma, I love you. My man come out here with the straightest face he could ever give while saying I love you. No matter what fate has in store for me, I've decided I'm going to face it head on. Plus, he didn't change the tone of his voice at all. He's just like, he's doing it all normal, straight face. There's a Rean way of doing it. Because as long as I have you with me, I know that whatever the challenge, I can rise to meet it. Will you stay with me? Of course! And Reen embraces her. <laughs> what would Grandmother and Vita say if they could see me now? I think... I think they'd be saying getting all cozy with them now, are you? <laughs> this isn't exactly a respectable path for a witch to take. Maybe not, but who cares? We're old enough to make our own choices, and even if the path is a rough one, I'm ready to stick it out. Me too. That one was nice as well. I'd say if you would want me to ignore Toa's, and just the ones I'm looking at right now, I'd say that I liked, um, Wara's uh, better still right now. I mean... Romantic-wise, that's all we're getting, because of how Cold Steel wants me to deal with these Bonnie events. It's kind of ending up the same way Cold Steel 1 ended for me with my New Game Plus run. But, on to Elliot's, and, and that's it. Alright, let's see what we got for Elliot here. I'm gonna skip that, because I know I read that during my main playthrough. I mean, I guess we're bonding with... I got to bond with second best girl and fourth for me, or maybe fifth, and we'll hang out with best bro. Anyway, well, I promised I'd meet Elliot here. Should I head inside and wait already, though? I think I'm kind of early. Let's go ahead and go with it. And then, you know, when we're done with Elliot, we'll see what it's like to go in along. Hey, Reen. Didn't think you'd be here already. Neither did 
die, to be honest. It just kind of happened. Finished everything up with the wind orchestra, I take it? Sure did. It was great to be able to play together with them again. I swear, though. Looking around, you'd think we never left. It's just like coming home. Yeah, I feel the same way. Thor's might not be the home any of our class grew up in, but it's our home nonetheless. Come on, let's walk around for a bit. I want to check on things upstairs, too. Sounds good to me. I forgot he had so many dang violins. changed. Even after all this time, it's exactly as we left it. It feels like we've gone back in time to our last day here, but somehow lost Crow in the process. Yeah, his absence makes all the difference in the world too. Like any twinge of nostalgia I feel is somehow wrong. I know what you mean. It's like trying to perform a concert with an instrument missing. It's just not the same. Though in this case, the concert is our class. Y yeah, I got that. But you're right. He might not have been with us on day one, but Class 7 isn't complete without him. Which is why we can't give up. To go back to your metaphor, we might be missing an instrument, but we can still go out and steal it back, right? Right. Hey, Reen. I've got a question. Do you still remember the day of our welcoming ceremony? How could I forget? It was a pretty eventful day, but I still remember that you were the first to try and start a proper conversation with me. Yeah? I guess you could say you were my first friend at this academy. <laughs> well, you were mine too. To tell you the truth, I was really, really nervous that day. I wasn't exactly thrilled to be here, for one thing. My dad practically forced me into attending in the first place. So I was feeling pretty doubtful that I'd be able to deal with wasting two years of my life at an academy I didn't care about. So in order to try to get a handle on things, I figured the first person I tried to talk to should be my opposite. What do you mean by that? Someone who, unlike me, had strong convictions. Someone who was looking forward instead of backwards. I remember seeing you there in that auditorium and thinking, there he is, he's the one. It sounds stupid, but I figured if I could make friends with someone like you, maybe I'd get stronger too. <laughs> wow, I didn't know you had such high expectations when you first started talking to me. But if that's what you wanted to do, you picked the wrong guy. I wasn't anywhere close to being strong. Worse yet, I was so oblivious, I didn't even realize that there were people around me who really cared. <laughs> I don't know about that. The fact that you're kicking yourself now means that you've grown up quite a bit since then. So no matter what you say, I'm sure I chose the right person to talk to. No doubt about it. Oh, thanks, Elliot. Spending time with you has made me stronger too. Strong enough that even Dad will accept the path I've chosen. And while it's come as some surprise, it's also helped me realize more than ever the real power of music. I don't think my love for music has ever been stronger, in fact. That's something else I owe almost entirely to you. You helped me find my path, and now, thanks to you, I can see it stretching out in front of me. Really? That's nice to hear. But you're stronger than you think. You always have been. Even if you're kind of small, the music in your heart has always roared. You never let that conviction fade, either. I've always admired that about you. And I've always been proud to call you my friend. <laughs> Thanks. I mean it, Reen. You really are the best friend I ever could have hoped for. As long as we're together, there's nothing that can stand in our way. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> that goes for Crow, too. Between the two of us, I'm sure we can make music so amazing, we'll even win him over. You've got that right. Together, we can do this. <laughs> that was nice. Elliot has always been the best bro of Class 7 to me. 
always been a precious guy. <laughs> And if I ever do get down to doing the other guys, I don't think any of them are going to be Elliot's. Like, that one was really nice. Maybe I'll spend the night here tonight. I think I'd be kind of lonely without anyone here to talk, though. Talk with, though. We're finally back, but here it is, our old dormitory. I guess I'll have a little walk around for old time's sake. left too. Seeing it so tidy and empty like this, it's almost as if Crow was never even here to begin with. But he was. And I'll never forget that. He lived here in this dormitory. In this room. And as a part of Class 7. You just wait, Crow. We're coming to get you. For the sake of everyone you left a mark on. For the sake of everyone who cares about you. And we won't fail. With Falamar, all our friends, and with the whole academy behind me, I swear, we won't fail. You're coming back with us, whether you like it or not. Yep. You can't spell alone in Cold Steel without Crow. Because <laughs> anytime you pick the alone option, you got good old Crow following you. Reen then cried himself to sleep that night. Now, I don't remember if I ever beat four, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna try. Enemy sighted! Let's take them out! I gotta beat these now. Without using crafts and win without using items. Let's move! So no crafts at all. Uh -huh. Onward! Activate! Okay! Where are your glasses, Laura? Arcus, activate! Yeah! Huh. No problem! Let's go! Good damage huh. if it hits. This should help! Here I go! Ooh, instincts. Leave this to me! It may be wise to retreat. Oh, wow. Right! Let's go! Yeah! Right! Ah, try this! No problem! Let's go! Let's move! We made it out in one piece. Wait, where, where? Oh, I see. You put the academy bands on and took off everyone's shit. Wonder if we fought. I was quite taken by your battle. Hopefully, these serve as a suitable reward. There's nothing to do now but to set the combat shows to the most powerful settings. <laughs> and see what's left of you to offer. <coughs> I 
I'm kidding, their arts will be much more powerful, but I'm sure you'll be able to handle it. Yeah, I'm sure I can, and I'm sure I gotta deal with this bullshit again, because like, why did you take off what they had on? Did I tell you to do that? No. Like, why be an asshole? Why are you tr Why did you redo things? Did I ask you to do that? No. And why are her glasses back on? Bro, you're pissing me off. Anyway, let's finish this. Level 5 arch training, you say? I certainly hope you're ready. I couldn't do it in Nightmare, but I'm sure I can do it now. Let's I welcome do it. all challengers! Well, without using crafts or without anyone reaching Let's low move. HP. This it's my turn! No, I have not messed with anyone's like stuff at all right now, so whatever happens, happens. Let's go! Ow. Oh no. This should help. It's my right, turn! Geez. Calm down over there. This should help. Nice. Let's move. I can do this. Let's go. Onward. It's my turn. Now that's gonna do nothing. Here I go. Yes. That's that. Let's keep moving. Cleared level five. My, that was simply incredible. <laughs> what a joy to see your abilities in full bloom like that. I can't thank you enough for showing me such an incredible display, but I hope that these will do to start. Wait, what? Oh wait, just as there are no limits on a flower's beauty, there are no limits to how much stronger you can become. So if you'd like to tackle that training exercise again, please do ask me. Wait. Oh, nope, here we go. Wow, you managed to clear all five levels of our arts training. That takes some real skill. Congratulations, all of you. Thanks for setting them up for us. Same here. Nothing like getting some horrible staff practice in. Cheers, Edel. <laughs> Anything to be of service. Yeah, I can focus all of my efforts on the operation now that I've helped you guys out in every way I can. Well, not quite every way. We've got something we'd like to give you. Oh? Don't be shy now. Don't be shy? Nothing! Er, oh yeah. Don't be shy nothing? This is a Master Quartz! I can feel the power coming off this thing. Where did you get it? I first saw it back when Klein and I were fighting together, actually. It belonged to the RMP at the time, but Klein managed to convince them they give it to us. It was supposed to be developed by the Epstein Foundation over in Wiemann. Really? Well, that basically generates its quality then. That's for sure. The Epstein Foundation really knows their stuff. They're right up there with Reinford in terms of orbment research, probably even better when it comes to combat orbments. So if they made this quartz, you can be sure it's something special. I hear it's not an easy one to use, though. It's been hopping from owner to owner for a while without seeing a lot of use. I was thinking Edel could give it a try, but we both agree that you would be better owners. To be sure, I hope you'll accept it. With pleasure. Thanks for thinking of us. We'll be sure to uh, wrangle this thing... Wrangle this thing into usefulness? Yes. 
So, uh, the only Master Quartz I have left to get is by getting to, um, is by getting to max AP. So yeah, so we've never gone Onward. out here to East Trista Highway 2, I, I believe. This is one place Shall that I missed. I've got this. So, get that. Shall we? Right. That's a big wolf. So we got one over here. That one looks nasty. Hey, 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 watch everyone. where you're going, dickhead. Don't even think about Shall trying. I've got this. And there are supposed to be chests on this side, yeah? Yeah. So, once I get these and then run around the Infernal Castle, the ones in the epilogue surprisingly don't count, which which is kind of strange. Neither are the ones in the Diversement, but I guess the Diversement one makes sense. But the epilogue, it should still count, but it doesn't. So I don't know. The being weird over there, dog. Stop wicking the blanket. Oh look! Right. There's a trap. <laughs> Bring it on. Last My trap turn. chest to show off, and I'm just gonna destroy it. I mean, like, don't. Don't tell me you don't go through New Game Plus just spamming these, alright? Don't lie to me. My flame will cleave ignorance and light the way. Safe for now. And that's basically all the chests and uh, anything else. The only other thing I have to do before going to finish the game again is go to um, the church in Trista just to see different dialogue for that with a completely different party. So I'm gonna go get on. I'm not gonna have any skipping of anything here because it's only Reen and the Father's dialogue that needs to be skipped. So I need to be slow here. Some of them, they, uh, some of them, they're sent to places without churches to fulfill various religious duties there. I told you about the one in Nord who would come to teach the people of the settlement every month, remember? You don't see them in cities very often, but they're relatively common s sight in less populated areas. Yeah, sounds like you picked the right uh, guys for the job. Phew, I'm glad he managed to make it here safely. Eh, he just had to jump on a train. Probably wasn't even worth freaking out about. I don't see him here, though. He seems surprisingly oblivious to the dangers around him. I can't imagine the trains will be returning, will be running a schedule with a battle for Heimdall beginning at noon. Oh hey, so we got here okay? That's good. Our worries were unfounded then. He left again? <laughs> I've never known a priest this reckless. I'm more amazed by how quickly he's making his way around. Would you happen to know where his next destination was? Well, isn't... Wait, I don't even need to say his lines. What do you mean? 
That's true. Under normal circumstances, he'd just be arriving here now, even if he boarded a train earlier this month. I mean, morning. What month? Huh? Um, Father, do you happen to know where he is now? Unbelievable. What could he want in Ruhr of all places at a time like this? You don't think he's already there, do you? It just doesn't add up. What? Th that doesn't make any sense. Hmm, I wonder if... Time to find out. Let's get at all. Oh dear, he arrived here before us, didn't he? A water for us? What's it say? What's it say? He knew that we were doing we were doing this the whole time. I'd say this proves he's no ordinary priest, wouldn't you? Or he's an acquaintance of yours, guys. So it seems. I have to admit, I did wonder if it might be him. He was my teacher before I came to the academy. He would come visit the settlement once a month, no matter where it was, and hold Sunday school for everyone there. I doubt I would have been able to attend Thor's if not for him. Really? Really? And thinking back on it, he never struck me as an ordinary man even then. Knowing that this is him, everything begins to make sense. He really must be pretty amazing. And that... is that. Yeah, now that's the end of the quest. So now the only things I have left to do for my New Game Plus run is complete the rest of the side quests that I have for now, and then go get the last chests uh, in Heimdall, and then do a few more quests in the epilogue to get my AP up to 315. So basically, I'm only getting two more trophies until... Well, actually, no, no, no. Because there is a special thing that I've already watched, because you had to have seen this before you played Cold Steel 3. So I'm getting four more trophies, and what we're coming up on is something completely different. So you'll know when we're there, when we will not be fast-motioning through that stuff at all. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that.